so uh, in studio with us, I remember I promised you this, is the man all the way born in Hartford, Connecticut, yep. in uh, the house. And um, of course, he's right here in the plus two five four. This is a man who, in 1994, while on Uptown Records, he spurned a little controversy with his single "Taste yeah. Your Love." You wanna hum that for me? I'm not afraid to taste your love Ooh, when it comes to making love. I do what I gotta do. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. I've, I've turned red right there. I, I see how that could have been controversial. Yeah. So he's in the yeah. house, the man, one for the money, two for the mm. show. A big hand for Mr. Horace Brown. Yay, yeah. yeah. I'm in the house. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, Kenya? <laughs> it's good to see you. Welcome to the Plus 254. This is your yes. first time in Kenya? Yes, Horace yeah. is here for the first time. You know, and I, I just think it's amazing. And I need you to get closer to the mic. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I'm here for my first time, and it's an amazing feeling. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me, Kenya, Nairobi. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Well, don't worry. Um, after Taste Your Love, mm -hmm. do you have any other tracks that you really felt like mm -hmm. moved the world? Taste Your Love and One for the Money. Yeah, Those were the anthems of yeah. the 90s, especially One mm -hmm. for the Money. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have a party without it. Our styles. I mean, he kept play he played it to death. You spoke about Taste Your Love and yeah. One for the Money. What about things you do for love? Did you ever hear this record with Jay-Z on there? I mean, I, that was before even a lot of people even knew about Jay-Z. So yeah. that was very I mean, big record your, what's your What's your take on uh, Jay-Z mm -hmm. and the kind of music that he's been producing lately, seeing mm -hmm. as you've worked with him for a bit? I love Jay-Z, so in my eyes, he can do no wrong, like, really, <laughs> honestly, I mean, he can do no wrong. I think, you know, he already proved himself. I don't think you continue to prove yourself. No, I you think do it once. once. You, yeah, when you prove yourself, you're just uh, following up. You're following up, give you some more follow-up, but, you know, I don't think he's in a position of proving himself to do anything. I mean, you, you see what he's done. He's done. All right, I would like you to compare Jay-Z mm -hmm. and Mr. P. Diddy. Well, you know, P. Diddy, I, the only difference for me is P. Diddy was more of a businessman. You know, like, he, he, he just totally businessman, but, you know, he even moved that into the skill of the art of being able to put out a rap album. I, I have to, you know, cut my I mean, okay, so I, big, okay, really, big I got, idea for I mean, to be a businessman <laughs> and come out with a rap album, I mean, that's something. I got to okay. clap my hands, you know, the dude is a genius. I mean, he's really a genius. And, I, and I've known Puff a long time, and Puff mm -hmm. even offered me the deal to come to Bad Boy at the time when I went to Motown. Oh. So I know Puff that long. Oh, so yeah. I, I, I love this. <laughs> guy you know he's just he's just a, a he breaks down walls he does things mm -hmm. you just don't believe he's gonna do and he does it and he looks at you see Straight told in the you face. i told, told you i could do it told you i could do it <laughs> one you know for the mean? money four for yeah, this show yeah that's the kind of guy you don't really like you know yeah. <laughs> but you have to like him you know i don't like this he's dude, the money guy but i love him because he's just you know he, he okay. proves himself all the time